this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this beautiful looking exotica. This is a concept I came up with and it's an alcoholic beverage and I will be using both Blender and Affinity Photo. So let's get cracking. Okay guys, so first I did some research on various types of alcoholic beverages. I checked up on the background history. I looked at what they're comprised of, like ingredients, alcoholic percentage, the company history. I also looked at famous brands like Absenti, Crystal Head Vodka, Diamond Jubilee by Johnny Walker, Hennessy, and Penfold. I also checked other brands, but these were the main ones I based my research on. I just checked to see how they were able to get their name and how they were able to get this expensive look. This is very important for the beginning phase of your design. Now we're on to the concept design. For this part, I checked to see how other alcoholic bottles were designed. I looked at their packaging and the way it was made. I also checked their logos and label designs. This is very important because you need to understand how your product is going to look at the end. You need to understand how your logo is going to look. You need to understand how your bottle is going to look and the feeling it gives to your audience. The better the product, the more expensive it's going to look. The cheaper the product, well, you know, the cheaper it's going to look. So if you want to stand out from the crowd, then you need to put emphasis in your designs. Okay, so now we're on to the logo design. After a few sketches, I came up with some concepts. A skull with some bones surrounding it. That was my first concept. And this is one of the logos that I think look good. However, I created multiple versions of this so I can decide at the end which one I would prefer. This is also the second option I created. The skull with the minimalistic designs around it. So I was trying and trying to see which one I would like the best. And after a few tries, I came up with this one. And so far, this is what I choose as my final logo. And I also came up with the name of the product and I'm going to call it Exotica. It sounds really nice and expensive. That is why I choose this name as the name of the product. And this is what we'll be going to use throughout the tutorial. So this is how I create my stuff. This is where we will create our bottle. So first I just did a simple 2D mockup of the type of bottle I would like to use. I enhance the colors a bit and I choose black as my color so that it can blend nicely with the color of the logo. Because you can see the logo is yellow and white so with a black background it looks really nice. So this is what I'll use as my bottle. So now let us go into Blender and create this bottle. Okay, so let's create a UV sphere. We're going to delete the bottom quarter of this sphere. And we're also going to delete the top quarter of this sphere. And we're going to enhance the bottom a bit. And we're also going to fill the bottom of this sphere because it's currently open. So let us fill that in and close it. Good. Now we're moving to the top. We're going to extrude it and we're going to scale it in. And then we're going to extrude it again so that we can form a neck for this bottle. Okay, and we're going to bevel the bottom. As you can see, it's currently out of shape. So let us fix the neck. We're going to make it a bit wider. And we're going to add a subdivision modifier. We're going to add some edge loops. And now we are going to fix the bottom. We're going to make it a bit more curvy. So we're going to select the bottom and scale it in. And 
this is what it looks like so far and you can see we use black I decrease the roughness and increase the transmission so you can get a black glassy kind of look because that is what I want for the bottle now we're going to add the solidify modifier this is going to add thickness to the bottle because currently it's very thin and unrealistic because bottles usually have thickness so once you add that we're going to have this thickness added to the bottle and this is what it looks like so far Okay, so now I'll add an environment texture. I just want to see how this is going to look in an environment. So I'm going to add an interior texture. And let's see how this looks. So let me look for one. Okay, let me choose this and boom. This is what it looks like in Eve. You see the bottle looks very shiny and nice. This is the look I'm going for. It looks really nice and expensive. All right, good. So I want to add a bottle cover to this. So I'm going to import the skull head. I found this skull head online, it's a free model. I didn't have the time to model the skull because I really wanted to finish this tutorial for you. But this can be modeled right here in Blender with a sculpting tool. But I found the free skull and this is what I've been using for the bottle mockup. So I'm just going to edit the size and fix it up a bit. Good, so I added the skull color and the normal map to the skull. And I didn't really like the color of the skull because it didn't match with the bottle. So I changed it back to white and I carried up the roughness. And now I want to add the cap, the bottle cap. This is going to be added to the skull. So this, I'm going to bevel this. So if you want to know how I bevel these and learn these simple tips and tricks, like how to add bevels and edges, you can check my other tutorial up on the right and you can see how I did these simple stuff. So yes, so I'm going to add this to the skull head. Let me just fix it, center it and bring back the skull. I'm going to place the skull on top of this cap. So this skull and this is going to be the bottle cover. I'm going to change this into a yellow gold kind of color because you know, gold looks really nice. So that's what I'm going to do with this. So I'm trying to edit it, tweak it, uh, just trying to get the right color. And yes, until I'm satisfied. So now I'm going to carry out the metallicness and now you can see it looks very golden and nice. And this is what I want. As you can see, I just made the skull head a bit smaller because it was a bit too big. So I just made it smaller so it can look nice on the bottle. And I edit the cap a bit, stretch it. And I added some gold strips around the neck of the bottle. As you can see, the gold strips make the bottle look a bit better. It looks much more expensive now since I added the golden strips around it. Because black, gold, and white, those three colors look really good together. So this is all about color combination. So now I'm going to add the logo to that bottle. And for those who want to know how to add logos to objects, just check my other tutorial that I have. You can check that on the top right too, and I will show you how I did logos. It's very easy and simple to add a logo to an object. So just check out that tutorial, and I will show you step by step on how I normally add logos to objects. So I'm just going to edit this type in the alcoholic percentage so you see I'm using 90% alcohol that's really high anyways it's an expensive liquor so I mean you need to go all out right 
so yes so now we're going to add the logo and fix it in the center take out the unwanted edges and fix the bottom label Okay, so now I have finished adding the logo to the object. I'm now going to decrease the roughness so the logo can match with the bottle. As you can see here, it now blends in. And this is what the bottle looks like. When you fully render it, this is what it looks like. A beautiful bottle of liquor. This is probably, looking at this is probably, I don't know, 50,000 US, probably, probably more, but this is what expensive stuff looks like. And by the way, there are a lot of expensive liquor out there. While I was doing my research, I saw some liquor for over 200,000 US and I'm like, wow, that's really, really expensive. So anyway, back to the topic. Yes, yeah, so this is what the finished product looks like and this is the beauty of doing mockups in 3d software because if i was doing this in affinity photo or photoshop i would never get to achieve this kind of realism this helps you see what the bottle is going to look like in real life so once you know 3d that's a plus so thank you for watching my tutorial and see you next time and one more thing in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how we're going to take this and turn it into a commercial. I'll show you step by step on how I'm going to animate it and show you the final product. By the way, if you like my work, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more updates. And if you would like to leave a donation, you can check the link in the description and buy me a coffee. So thank you once again and see you next time for another amazing tutorial.